Hello friends, this video on sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that was about the endosperm. Now let us talk about the embryo. So on one side the PEC develops into the endosperm. Now once the endosperm starts forming, the zygote also starts developing into the embryo. So embryo is nothing but a diploid cell which is developing from zygote. So how it develops from zygote again repeated divisions are there. So it develops at the micropyle end. Now if you see where was the egg cell present. Now the egg cell was present at the micropyle end. Let us suppose if this is the ovary and if this is the micropyle end. So this is where the egg was present. Right? And these were the synergies. So now, when the male gamete came, so male gamete fertilized the egg. So the fertilized egg is nothing but zygote. So the zygote is also present towards the micropyle end. So the development of zygote into embryo will also happen at the micropyle end. So here if you see, this is the micropyle end in this figure. And this is where you have the zygote. Now the zygote development starts only after endosperm formation has started. That is because for the development of zygote into embryo, it needs nutrition and the nutrition has to be provided by the endosperm. So first endosperm should form. Once the endosperm has formed, only then the embryo development will take place. So if you look at this figure, you can see that post-fertilization, the ovary turns into the fruit, the ovary turns into the seed. And if you look at the structure of the seed in more detail, so inside the seed you see the embryo. What is the embryo? The embryo consists of a small pinnule which will later become the shoot system, a small radical which will later become the root system and the cotyledons, that is the seed leaves, they will provide nutrition for the development of the pinnule and radical. So this entire structure is the embryo which is present inside the seed. So this is how an embryo looks like. So these two are the cotyledons. So they are the cotyledons and this forms the base of the embryo. Now let us look at the stages of embryo generating and embryo. That is how the embryo develops from a zygote. So what was zygote? Zygote is a diploid single cell. So this is a diploid but a single cell. So this this is how the zygote looks like, just one cell. So embryogeny refers to the stages of embryo development. Now it doesn't happen that the zygote suddenly becomes an embryo. It is not a one-step process. The zygote gradually, uh, gradually develops. And how it develops? By repeated division. So initially, zygote is a single cell. Now over a period of time it divides to form 2, then from 2 to 4, from 4 to 8 and that is how it keeps on dividing more and more and it goes through one of the weak stage and finally it forms the embryo. So here we will look at the various stages of embryogeny. Now the stages of embryogeny are the same in monocot as well as dicot embryo. Whether the plant is monocot or dicot, that doesn't matter. The stages of embryogeny will remain the same. So let us have a quick look at the different stages of embryogeny. So these are the various stages of embryogeny. So initially it is just a single cell. After that, over a period of time, it becomes a two cell structure. So here it has two cells. So it divided and formed two cells. Then gradually it becomes an 8 cell structure, so here it is 8 cell and then it forms a globular structure. So if you, if you see, it gives a globular shape, so it is called the globular stage. Next is, after globular stage, it again grows bigger and gives a triangular shape and finally it forms the heart shape stage. So here if you see, the shape of the embryo is like a heart. From the heart shape, it gradually becomes torpedo shape and from the torpedo shape it finally becomes a mature embryo. So this is how a mature embryo looks like. Now in this mature embryo these two are the cotyledons or the seed leaves. So they are the cotyledons and here you have the so we have the root epical meristem here. Root epical meristem. 
So that is the roots will arise from here. Similarly, here we have the shoot apical meristem. From there, the shoot system will arise. So this is how the an embryo looks like. So if you see at the bottom this cell which you see this is nothing but the basal cell. So the, this is the basal cell which is there at below. So these are the different stages by through which the zygote goes and it finally forms a mature embryo. So now let us look at the structure of the dicot embryo and the monocot embryo one by one. First, we'll talk about the dicot embryo. So, dicot embryo is dicotyledons. That means there will be two cotyledons. We have already talked about dicot and monocot plants in our previous classes. So, the important parts of the structure of an embryo are first of all, the embryonal axis or the embryonic axis, as you call it. So, this is the main axis of the embryo which divides it into different regions. So, which are the main parts of the embryo? Embryonal axis, cotyledons, epicotyle, hypocotyle, cumulum, radical, and root cap. These are the important parts of a dicot embryo. So, if you see, this is a dicot seed. So, this is how a dicot seed looks like. So, where will be the embryo inside the dicot seed? So, inside the dicot seed, you have a small cumulum and a small radical. Right? And there will be two cotyledons. So this is another view of the same thing. So here if you see this entire thing is the embryonal axis. So the entire thing. So in that thing, these two are the cotyledons. The two leaf like structures, they are the cotyledons. So cotyledons are the seed leaves. They are used for food storage and they provide nourishment to the developing radical and immune. So here you can see that radical will give rise to the root system and the thymium will give rise to the shoot system. So in order to grow, both of them need energy and energy will come from food and food is stored in the cotyledons. Next is epicotyle, that is the part of the embryonic axis above the cotyledons and it terminates at the mule. So here, where is the epicotyle here? So epicotyle would be somewhere here, where right? the cotyledon is above the level of cotyledons and above the cotyledons, this is the area from where the shoot system will start. So it will terminate at the thymium somewhere here. Hypocotyl is that part of the axis below the cotyledons and it terminates at radical. Now where is radical here? Radical is somewhere here. Radical is the small root which will later give rise to the root system. So it is just above radical. So somewhere here is the hypocotyl. So hypocotyl terminates at the radical. Below the radical, you have a covering of, so what is radical? Radical is nothing but the root peak. And there is a covering of the root peak as you can see here. And that is known as root cap. So covering of the root tip is root cap. Similarly, the stem tip is called thymule. And where is the thymule? This portion is the thymule. Right? So these are the important parts of a dicot embryo. Now let us quickly look at the structure of a monocot embryo and we will see how it differs from the dicot embryo. So here also we have an embryonal axis which actually divides it into various parts. We also have cotyledon but the difference is that here we have only one cotyledon. Like in, in case of the dicot embryo we have two cotyledons but here we just have only one. So this single cotyledon which exists is also known as scutellum. So this is just another name for the cotyledon which is present in a monocot embryo. So where do we have this? So this is the scutellum. So you see there is just one deep like structure. Next is the thymule which is the shoot tip. And similarly we also have the radical which is the root tip. So root tip is, will be present somewhere here. So here you can see you have the radical. And just below the radical you have the root cap. That is the covering of the root tip. Now here something different which was not present in dicot uh, embryo was Coloriza. So coloriza is a sheet which encloses the radical and the root cap. So here if you see 
there is an undifferentiated sheet. So this sheet, this bunch of tissues, which covers the radical anterior capillus, is known as polovisa. Now similarly, there is a sheet which covers or which encloses the premium and a few leaf primordia, and that is known as polyopide. So this polovisa and polyopide are were not present in case of the dicot embryo. So where is the polyopide? So this region is the polyopide. And where is the shoot tip? That is where is the premium? So the premium is somewhere here. So the covering of the premium is the polyopide. So these are the important parts of the monocot embryo. So if you see this is a seed, this is how a monocot seed looks like and this part is the embryo. So just at the center is present the embryo but this is the entire seed. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt a free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.